welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be making a mouth-watering tea times nuts for this deliciousness you're going to need a full cream milk half cup of full cream milk sugar and mix it together i'm going to leave the measurement in the description box and also have them on the screen so i hope you watch and focus okay so you're going to add yeast and mix this together allow it to mix for a little while for like two minutes and then you are going to add egg you're going to mix this as well and you're going to add powdered milk flavor you're going to mix the powder milk flavor and allow it to incorporate and then you're going to add one tablespoon of cooking oil and you also add flour make sure to mix that as well add flour and salt then you're going to sift this if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below okay mix all the ingredients together to make a dough if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Please smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notification. You'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Now you're going to add butter to the dough and you're going to mix this together very well. You will cover this and allow to rest for 30 minutes. Here is the dough after it has doubled in size. So you're going to deflate it to let out the air and you're going to transfer this to a surface and knead it. We're going to knead this for about 7 to 10 minutes, depending on when the dough is okay and ready to use. To check if your dough is okay, just stretch it forward. If it stretches, you know it's okay. If it doesn't stretch it and it breaks, you know that you need to knead it more. Then you're going to cut this into two. Then you keep one aside. You spread the second one so that it can be as flat as possible. going to cut this into eight piece and you mold each one of it to a round shape like a ball shape This is everything after molding it. You're going to cover this and also allow it to rest for another 30 minutes. This is how it looks after 30 minutes. Then you're going to take each one of these, transfer this to a parchment paper where you can take it to fry. I'm going to heat up some vegetable oil and you're going to test if the oil is okay. When it is bubbling too much, you know that it is not it is too hot. But when it is like this, 
on your screen you know it is okay it is not too hot and it is not very cold now it is the right time to fry you can see that there are no bubbles coming out from the dough right so this is how you can fry with oil that is not too hot and not too cold okay so you're going to fry this for about three minutes and flip over the other side to also fry for about three minutes Once it is ready, you are going to transfer this into a paper towel to drain out the excess oil. After that, you are going to transfer to a plate. If you are still watching to this point, please help this channel grow by subscribing to this channel. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a thing. I upload new videos every, every Saturday and Sunday. So this is everything after frying. You can enjoy this with any juice of choice you can take this in the noon in the morning for dinner whatever time you want to eat this it is super delicious okay see you in my next video bye